Kia ora, here's question 2E from this year's complex numbers paper. So this is another locus question. Um, you're not asked to draw the locus, you're just asked to find the Cartesian equation of the locus, and you're asked to get it into this form here. So when you look at this, you should see that that is the equation for a circle, and it's got a centre at AB, and it's going to have a radius of K. All right, so what we've got to do is take this and work through from there. So we're going to start off, as usual, by saying let z equal x plus i y. We're going to substitute that in and then just work our way through. Um, again, I think this is reasonably straightforward if this is an excellence question. So there's only one place that I think is, is a pretty easy place to make a mistake if you haven't done tons and tons of practice. So let's substitute in. We get x plus i y plus i is equal to 2 times the modulus of x plus i y minus 5i. So now we're going to carefully group up the real and the imaginary part. So we've got x plus i times y plus 1. Ooh, I don't know what's gone wrong with the thing there. Hang on. Um, so we've got that, and that's equal to 2 times the modulus of x plus i times y minus 5. Now, when I apply the definition of the modulus, I'm going to do this in a couple of steps, but remember that we're not going to end up with this i in here. So the modulus is the distance from the origin to a point. So we're just applying Pythagoras. Um, if you're watching this and you've just done the exam, you'll hopefully you'll know that. Um, so this is what we get here. We get x squared plus y plus 1 squared, all square rooted, is equal to 2 times this. And now we're going to square both sides. So we get x squared plus y plus 1 squared is equal to 4 times x squared plus y minus 5 all squared. Now if you're watching this and you're in my class, I think it's absolutely fine to go straight from here to here. Um, there's no problem with that. It's not a proof question. You're just asked to find the locus equation. Um, what I think you do need to do, though, is be pretty careful with expanding everything out so that you don't drop things or muck up your coefficients. So on the left-hand side, we get x squared plus y squared plus 2y plus 1. And over here, I'm going to go slowly, x squared plus y squared minus 10y plus 25, um, which gives us 4x squared plus 4y squared minus 40y plus 25. And I'll just write all that out again. I'm sorry, guys, I don't know why the cursor is doing the weird thing. Right, but looking at this, um, we're heading towards the equation of a circle. But the way to do this is just, I think, is to go 0 equals blah, blah. And then we're going to do some completing the square, which, as you know, is probably like my favorite thing in maths. So here we go. We've got 3x squared plus 3y squared minus 42y plus 24. Um, dividing everything through by 3 gives me 0 equals x squared plus y squared minus 14y plus 8. So there's no need to complete the square on that bit. It's just going to be x squared. Here we're going to have y minus 7 squared. Now we've accidentally added in um, 49. We need to take it out. And I've made a big mistake in here somewhere. I can see, hmm, what have I done? Oh, look, I haven't times 4 by 25. Right, so that's why you always check your work. I'm not going to redo the video, even though usually I would. I'm too tired, so I'm going to make that plus 100. I'm going to magically fix everything up so we don't have 100 there. Yeah, I thought that looked wrong. Okay, 3x squared, 3y squared, minus 42y plus 99, and here we get plus 33. So back to down here. So I'm doing completing the square on this. I've added in 49 by accident, so I take it out, and I've got plus 33. That gives me 0 equals x squared plus y minus 7 squared um, minus 16. And that gets us to our final answer, which is that 16 is equal to x squared plus y minus 7 squared. Now we weren't asked to write down what it is, but it just sort of feels wrong not to. So it's a circle, and it's got a radius of 4, not 16. The radius is 4, and the centre is at 0, 7. Let's just go back to the start and just check that we've 
answered the question. Yep, we had to put it in this form here. Um, so I'm just going to state what A, B, and K are. If I have, no, I haven't done that yet. Right, so A is equal to 0, B is equal to 7, and K is equal to 4. Pretty sure that, I guess we'll find out in January, that you'll get four marks for just writing it like that. But it's um, more explicitly what's been asked for to put down the A, B, and K values. Thanks for watching. Um, if there are any particular questions that you want done out of the Level 3 Calc papers, um, let me know and I will move them up the queue. Otherwise, I'm just going to probably keep going in order. Um, the next one I'm going to do will be complex numbers, and then after that I thought I'd go on to the integration paper.